terrible ball. Oh, yes! Three goals to two. Davi goes to milk the applause. And that caught Amado. He should have saved that. And Benfica deservedly back in the front. That was dreadful from Amado. Keep it hard, keep it low. It's very difficult for keepers then. Look at this. Amado does know how to defend those, so he just stands still, tries to wait for Ricardinho to make the decision as to what he's going to do before he can react and hope he can do something in time to save it. As we said, it's a great year if you're a Benfica fan. Looks as if they might be celebrating a Super League title. Remember, you can catch all the, the highlights from Portugal's weekend league in Eurogoals Monday night. Good winning the air from Ricardinho. How tall is he? 11 is Ortiz. Nobody up with him, Ortiz. Four back in red shirts behind him. 11 seconds, 10 of the first period. They the never must off. They've simply wanted it more than interview of Madrid. And they've managed to turn it into a performance where they might deliver themselves this trophy. There weren't too many that thought that they could do it. And they are having the time of their life for watching this. Now, is there a problem once again? Goncalo Alves is on. Well, the problem is, I think, we've got another problem with the clock. Uh, we have one in the semi-finals, when the clock basically would not work. And I think they've got another one here with exactly the same thing. And here he comes. It's not quite a victory lap yet. It is a pretty amazing sight, isn't it? As it is every time he appears. atmosphere inside here is just absolutely incredible club is having one of its better years these days Ricardinho runs into a problem got clear by Daniel out comes baby as in goes Torres Well, they know they're going to be beaten by the better team tonight. The margin might only be one goal, but the difference between these two teams has been almost total tonight. And out it comes. Neto did well to win that ball in the air as well. Decent handling. Finds Juan Rod. They want everybody in now. Half a minute and under. Shot coming in. No, they've got to clear again. All given away by Ricardini. Betauer's there. Can't get it in. Cesar Paolo gets it away. Another reason to cheer. Two seconds used. Well, the place is absolutely bouncing in here. Bebe goes downfield. It's out of play. Four seconds. It's done. They won't get a shot in the back of the net now before that buzzer goes. He's just making sure. 
Here it comes, one second, the buzzer's going to go. Doesn't matter, it won't count, it's gone in, it's over. Benfica have won. Benfica become the first Portuguese team to win this UEFA Futsal Cup. And it's done in quite dramatic style. He gets some revenge, sinks to his knees as the emotions kick in and take over. Suffered defeat at the hands of this team interview back in 2004. Pedro Costa's there to celebrate it. He was part of that team as well. There is no glorious fourth winning of this trophy for interview. Benfica have been the better team here by a considerable margin. They just couldn't make it show in the terms of goals they scored. It was very close right until the dying seconds. In the end, though, it is Benfica who have won by three goals to two. They are the champions of 2010. What a great atmosphere inside this arena. The fans have certainly played their part in turning this into a great occasion. We've slightly overrun tonight, so we're not going to be able to show the uh, trophy presentation here. But uh, there's going to be a big, big party in full swing. We hope you've enjoyed the coverage uh, from Lisbon this year. Till next year. From me, Tim Cable. Till next time. Bye-bye for now.